Welcome back everybody, Broadbent here. Today we're going to be going over the major changes for the 0.69 update for the forest. Diving straight into the changes, the birdhouse is now much cheaper to build, costing only one log and four sticks. We have had a brand new game mode added into the game. Hard Survival, a very creative name I might add, is essentially a tougher game mode for your more advanced players. Many elements of the game have been made much more difficult to deal with, such as fire dealing more damage, meat will spoil faster, and slower respawns on freshly picked herbs. You will also take more cold damage when venturing out into the snow, so you might want to slap on some deer armor before you leave your warm house. Not only is the cold more of an issue, but you will need to keep a better eye on your diet. Animal spawns have been greatly nerfed, and there are larger consequences of eating poisonous food and drinking unclean water. Overall, this game mode looks really challenging and is something that I'm looking forward to trying in the near future. The Rusty Axe is at a makeup session and no longer looks as rusty. So, it's just an axe then? The resolution of the fire texture on players and enemies has been increased for a higher level of detail. For a long time now, we've all wanted to smear our berry juices all over our blades, but want no further. Most weapons have been given the option to be covered in poisonous berries or mushrooms, allowing you to poison your enemies for the first slash. Do know that this is currently a one-time use and you will have to reapply the poison after each hit, but I expect the devs will address this in the near future. There has been a small change to the log sled concerning the carry limit. Now if you try to pick up more items than you can hold, you will drop them on the ground like a bad juggler trying to recover from a trip. You will now need to conserve your herb usage as they now take one full in-game day to respawn. You can now store different types of arrows in arrow baskets. Previously, if you placed a poisoned or bone arrow in a basket, it would reset to be a normal arrow when you pick it up. Now it will store that arrow type and keep its state. I will note that this is currently only for single player, but I expect the devs will add multiplayer support very soon. The cooking pot has been made to appear slightly bigger. This is to make way for the new stew cooking option. You can also add the cooking pot to the fire without water, because why not? Cooking stews is now a thing. After filling a pot with water, placing it onto a fire, you can then add up to 20 ingredients of your choice. However, you are limited to 8 meats, 6 mushrooms, 4 herbs, 1 berry, and oysters. The stew will take 30 seconds to cook, after which it will stay there for up to 10 minutes, if you forget about it that is. The results of the stew depends on the ingredients you added. Some ingredients will add hydration, some will increase your fullness. You can also make a stew without water, but it will not provide any hydration benefits and will burn a lot faster. The crafted bow has been nerfed to be as effective as killing than throwing soft teddy bears at your enemies. This is to make way for the brand spanking new modern bow, something that has been highly requested since, like, day one or something. The modern bow will shoot arrows further and deal more damage than the crafted bow, however the crafted bow will have a faster rate of fire. If you're interested in finding the new bow, I will link a tutorial in the top right of the screen right now. There has been many performance tweaks this update, including CPU optimizations, ragdoll optimizations, animation optimizations, unneeded foliage cleanup, yacht collision improvements, door physics, and a few more. Something that is very welcomed in my eyes. Audio has also been a target this update, with a handful of tweaks such as nitrogen tanks now playing an air hiss when about to explode. Flares now emit a burning sound when thrown, and a new sound for resetting traps. Some issues and holes in caves 3, 6, 7, and 8 have been fixed, and a new save tent has been added towards the end of the game. Some further polish has been added to the in-game translations, and a small issue has been fixed with invisible text. There has also been a handful of bug fixes as well this update, including the cave map now displays the hovering outline in your inventory, held logs no longer collide awkwardly when dropped by the player, female enemies sometimes not attacking the player, and some cases with certain achievements not being obtainable, and many, many more. As always, let me know your thoughts on the update, and help support my channel by pressing the like button below. Thanks for watching everyone, and I will see you in the next video.